Hey there, French Horns. Welcome to Fifth Grade Band. You guys have already been to registration. You have your instruments, and now you're at home ready to play them. So let's talk about it. All right? Go ahead and grab your French horn case, put it on your lap, and let's open it and see, um, let's see our pieces here. Okay? We got to make sure that we open it the correct way. There should be um, a label on top of your case. Like this one says Yamaha. This is a school instrument. Yours might look a little different. It might say something else. Go ahead and open all the latches. There should be most likely four of them. And the instruments will open to you, okay? And the French horn will be resting right on top like that, okay? Now the nice thing about setting this up is that there really is two steps to this, okay? Step one is you pick up the instrument, which is already put together, okay? There's nothing you really have to do to assemble it. And step two is you pick up the mouthpiece. You might have to take it out of some plastic wrap if it's brand new, okay? So you might have to take a minute or two to do that. Go ahead and um, pause the video if you have to. So take the mouthpiece once you're ready. Just put it into the end of the French horn right here. You don't want to pound it in or anything like that until you hear it pop because then it could get stuck. You just simply push it in until it stops moving and then you're going to take it and give it one little spin to the left, not all the way around, maybe about halfway around, okay? And you can go ahead and just close your case up, put it down next to you. And there's your French horn. It's put together. It's ready to go. Really cannot be much more simple than that. Let's talk a lot, little bit about how you're going to play it and how you're going to hold it, okay? Let me show you the sax, or I'm sorry, the French horn posture right here. What I'm doing, and keep in mind I'm six foot three, so it's gonna be a little bit different with you the first time. I'm resting the bell on my right leg, right here, the top of my right leg, okay? My right hand, I'm gonna stick it out and pretend like I'm shaking your hand, and then keep it that same way, and it just goes on the inside of the bell right there, kind of supporting it up. In case you happen to be standing, you can hold it, okay? So rest it against your leg, and try to get it up to your mouth. Okay, um, if it's too high or if it's too low, we can adjust from there, but hopefully we can get it pretty close to where our mouth is, all right? With our left hand, we put our three fingers on these three valves right here, okay? The first valve is the button, I'm not good with this mirror image thing, there we go. The button closest to us, that's the first valve, and then middle finger goes on the second valve, and then third finger goes on the third valve, like that. Your thumb goes inside this little thumb loop, if you can see. There's a little loop right there, and your thumb's just going to rest nice and comfortably there. Okay, so let me back up again. Left hand plays the instrument. Right hand and right leg support the instrument, okay? Just practice getting comfortable. It might take a couple days, all right? Um, some common mistakes I see is a lot of times some people end up sort of leaning down and playing like that. Then, you know, you can't really breathe that well and you can't see the director. You're just kind of staring at the floor. So make sure you don't do that. Other people, maybe if they're not as tall, the French horn would come like all the way up to there. So then they kind of have to lean up for it. If you have to like balance it more towards the back of your leg for it to come up to your lip, Try that, okay? A lot of it is just trial and error until you find that spot that is pretty comfortable for you. The main thing about playing French horn is there shouldn't be any tension, no neck tension, shouldn't really be any hand or shoulder or elbow tension. Everything should be pretty comfortable. French horn just comes right up to our mouth without any muscles really having to clench, and you play it, okay? So try to keep getting comfortable, try to keep trying that out, okay? Play some sounds, buzz your lips. Remember, if you just go to play into it like this, nothing's gonna come out. The sound comes from your lips buzzing together. Like that, all right? So keep working on that, get some sounds going. Once you're comfortable with that, why don't you click on over to the next video and we're gonna talk about how to play our first song.